This setup is used to demonstrate our newest model, the CIP, which is a flow-through design used for food and pharmaceutical applications. It's important because it's a flow-through design and therefore there's no holdup or accumulation of product. The uniqueness of this particular model is that it uses a pharmaceutical grade silicon tube with ribs inside which keeps it from collapsing during pump shutoff periods. Also the ends of it are the gaskets that fit into the tri-clamp fitting so that it's simple to mount it in line to a mating tri-clamp fitting and you're in production. So first I'm going to turn the pump on and we have the arrangement set up so that we can pump water from the pump through the dampener or without a dampener. So first we'll pump without a dampener and you'll see the vibration, the pulsation and the intermittent flow of the liquid. Then we'll switch, turn off this side and turn the dampener on and you'll see smoother flow, steady needle and less vibration. So this is without the dampener. You're gonna see some mechanical vibration from the pump. There are basically two types of vibration created when a pump is running, especially an air diaphragm pump. One is the hydraulic vibration created by the stop start, the flow of liquid, but the other is a mechanical vibration created by the pump shifting its diaphragms back and forth, balls and seats raising and lowering. So you'll still see some shaking due to mechanical vibration. Right now you can see the needle on the gauge is bouncing from zero up to about 25 PSI. The flow is intermittent, starting and stopping, and the pipe is vibrating or jumping. So now I'm gonna shift it from the non-dampened to the dampened side. And you'll see that the gauge is barely moving. The flow is near steady. We still have a little mechanical vibration, but that can be taken out with some flex coupling. But we're having steady state flow, almost steady needle at about 10 or 15 pounds. The true discharge pressure when we remove the acceleration head. This particular model is important because with the flow through design, no hold up of product can occur and therefore in a food or pharmaceutical application, they can stay in production longer than they could with a traditional type of dampener that has a hold up of liquid, like an accumulator.